Good morning, everybody. Good morning, family. Good morning, warriors. You are warriors. Good morning. Welcome to our the fourth day of our fast with Minister Angela, JCV, Jesus Chosen Vessels. I believe that if you're here, you're chosen for such a time as this, and God wants to use you in a mighty way because the blessing is not just for me. The provision is not just for me, right? The ministry is not just for me, but you also shall walk into your appointed time as well. And I believe that God is going to bless you in the now. Um, and the word for um, today is this today midnight is the promise of, of prosperity, the promise of prosperity, because God made a promise to you. That if you seek him and if you repent and if you fully wholeheartedly turn and diligently seek him and pray him, he has promised to give you the good of the lamb. You are warriors. You have been fighting. I'm proud of you guys. It is it is um the fourth day. It is August 30th. You guys have made it to August 30th. Amen. 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 Clap for yourself. Psalms 144, bless be the Lord, my strength, which teach it my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdued my people under me. Amen, amen, amen. He teaches our fingers to fight and our hands to war. So you guys have been warring. I, I, I hope that you guys have been in your prayer closet seeking God alone so that he can reward you openly because we are talking about the reward today that it's already granted that it's already done um it's already it's already if you have been on this 30 day fast with us it is already given to you it is already done for you it is already granted to you and I believe that God is going to do something so great for you. I believe that God is going to do something wonderful for you in the now. Um, abundance, right? When we look at the word abundance and you separate the word abundance, there's dance. Dance is there for a reason. It's time to dance for what God is about to do for you. Amen. Get ready to dance. What does arrival mean? God told me to let you know the arrival is already here. The arrival is here. What does arrival mean? The act or process of arriving. That is what arrival means. If you look up the definition of arrival, it's the act or process of arriving. If you have fully submitted to this 30-day fast, you have already acted in the process. And whatever you have asked God for, has already arrived for you rejoice dance and shout it's done it's done it's done it's done it's done it is done i have a a quick word for you about the number seven as you know we are going all over um the law of seven if you know god uh when he created the heaven and earth when he was creating things he left the seventh day to rest. He left the seventh day for resting, right? It talks about um, the seven angels in Revelations. It talks about the number seven um, a lot of times. Um, you know, the number seven means completion. In the Bible, it means completion. But I want you to turn your Bibles to 1 Kings 18.41. 1 Kings 1841 and I'm just going to give you a little second to go ahead and get um, get your Bibles ready for for um, the word for today we are going to pray and I'm going to leave you with some prosperity um, scriptures promise of abundance the promise that God has made to you for some of you know I put a word out um, I think it was last week about Deuteronomy's 111. Deuteronomy's 111. The promise of Deuteronomy's 111. What God has promised to you in Deuteronomy's 111. Amen. And I'm going to read that before I jump into Kings. But it says right here that um, 
the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are and bless you. That is a promise. God said, I'm not even going to give you a hundredfold. I'm going to give you a thousandfold because you're being obedient. Because you are diligently seeking him. It is a promise that he made to you. That he said, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are. And bless you as he hath promised you. And the word promise means I made a promise to you that I am going to bless you for your faithfulness to him, for seeking him, even when you felt like giving up, for seeking him, even when you didn't know what to do, for seeking and trusting him where you said, God, I don't know what else to do, but seek you. And so God said, because of that, I'm going to show up in the now for you. And God said to let the people know that the sound of abundance is here. The sound of abundance is here. The rain, the rain, the sound of rain. What do you hear when you hear rain? You hear it's 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 like a it's like blessings coming down, right? The sound of rain is so soothing, but it's just so peaceful. But it's just like I love the sound of rain. I don't know about you, but I love it when it rains. When it rains, and and, and the and, and prophetically, rain is. Um, um, a blessing and that's why I want to take you to prophetically it is a it, it is a prophetic um, a sign the rain so I want to take you to first Kings 18 41 through 7 and we are going to this is going to bring us to the revelation of the number seven for us today for the word of the promise of prosperity um, it is going to let you understand and give you clarification and give you understanding um, for what God is about to do you, for you right now. And the Bible says, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. 42. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. He was praying, you guys. He was praying. And then in 43, and it says to his and it said to his servant, he told his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And the servant he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. He said, go again seven times. So what he's telling him, pray seven times. Seek the Lord seven times, you guys. And this is why I want you to understand that the number seven is so significant. The number seven is so unique. The number seven, my God, is completion. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit right now. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. He That some of you are been in a dry season. And I hear God say the abundance of rain. He says you've been struggling for too long. He's seen your tears. He heard your cry. And he said that I am going to send the abundance of rain. The promise that I made to you in Deuteronomy 1.11. The promise that I made to you in Proverbs 10 22 where he said I will make you rich without sorrow meaning you will not have to struggle for this anymore you will not have to cry for this in Deuteronomy 8 18 he says he gives you power to get wealth he gives you the power to get wealth but it's when we seek him that he gives us that power my God now we're going to read um, you know, and the Bible says in 43, and it said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. Verse 44, my God, this is where it get, gets exciting. And it says, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea. Like a man's hand. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not. So that's letting us know that the rain did not stop. The rain not stop. He prayed seven times, you guys. And it said that the seventh time, the Bible says the seventh time the rain fell down. My God, the seventh time the rain began to flow. The seventh time, the rain began to come down. 
my God, he called the Bagdari there, he shun my kind of Bagdari there. And God is saying, I'm calling you to go further. I'm calling you to go forth all the way. He said, I don't need a little crumbs. I don't need you to just pray one time a day in this fast. He said, I need you to seek me above all else. 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 Hey, Shana Makahante You guys, now this is a big revelation. I have to, to stop the reading right now because I'm actually right in front of my window. And uh, this truck pulls up. And it says, that thing you wanted, it's right here it's right in here so god is letting us know that it is here that is a revelation i just have to tell y'all that because i just got excited i just got excited i just got excited because god hey hey so god let us know that you guys cross over congratulations congratulations you guys congratulations and it says and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said behold arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand and he said go up say unto and this is verse 40, 44 as i'm reading go up say unto ahab prepare thy chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not now read with me verse 45 and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain a great rain you guys a great rain <laughs> that means whatever you are about to receive is great in this season whatever you are about to receive is great in this hour in the now and ahab rode and went to jezreel jezreel and the hand of the lord was on elijah and he girded up his loins and ran before ahab to the entrance of jezreel so this lets us know right now that seven is completion, my God. The number seven means completion. The number seven means completion. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you've been asking God for. I don't know what you want from God. But he says he is going to give it to you because you completed it. You passed the test. You passed the test. You are his servant. He, he says it is granted to you. Whatever you ask in his name. Whatever you ask the Heavenly Father, it is granted um, to you, my God. Now, I'm going to give you some scriptures to really meditate on for the promise of the abundance. Because this is a promise that God made to you. This is a promise that God himself, he made to, to you. He made these promises to you. And nobody, nothing, nothing can take this away from you. I'm talking about nothing can take this away from you. I want us to pray and then we're going to go over some scriptures. Um, I want to break down something to you really fast. The supernatural miracle is at the foundation of Christian faith. Now, if you have faith to believe, because some of you are on here right now, you're on this fast, and you feel like giving up. And I want you to understand that the supernatural miracle is at the foundation of the Christian faith. Define supernatural visitation redemption. If you understand redemption, if you understand supernatural, God is saying right now that you, I don't know why he brought the tip, but I, he's saying right now that you are going to get a supernatural visitation. A divine supernatural visitation because you are fasting meaning that I'm fasting in faith knowing that if I'm fasting whatever I'm fasting for is going to have to come back down to me so God said that he is going to make so supernatural provision and the supernatural and the miracles is only brought about through God I want you to understand that the supernatural and the miraculous is only brought about through God I want you to understand that. I want you to receive that. I want you to receive that. I want you to receive that. That it is happening to you. That it is happening to you. It is happening to you.
go through these because I already got them down. So I just want you to meditate on them for the rest of the day. And then together, um, we are going to pray by faith that everything is going to come from the heavenly realm down to earth. Before we get into this word, I want you to understand that we have the legal right to bring down everything that's into the heavens, the heavenly realm. We have the legal right by the blood of Jesus Christ from him dying to bring it down on earth to us because we are a citizen of heaven, right? Earth is only our temporarily home. So this is our temporarily home, but our forever home is in heaven. So we are a citizen of heaven. We are just visiting earth. We are just visiting earth, right? And as we seek those things that are above and not beneath, wisdom, right? We get wisdom. We get healing. We get deliverance. We get provision. We get promotion. We get peace. And we get the presence of God. As long as we are in the presence of God and we are seeking him, you guys, we get all these things. And it's a promise, right? And if we ask angels, because we have angels working for us, if we ask God to ascend the angels into the heavenly realm, to bring down what is in heaven that's for us in the spiritual realm, right? That's why God says focus on the unseen and not the seen. Because if you knew what I can do for you, <laughs> if you knew what's for you, baby, in the spiritual realm, you would stop praying and just be like, God, give it to me. But God has so much for you. And so if you ask God to send his angels to ascend into heaven and to bring down, to descend Everything that's for you, every door that's closed, every door shall be open, every door shall be open to ascend his angels to bring it down to you. So I want you guys, when you go in your prayer closets, after we get done praying, I want you to go into your prayer closets and ask God to loose his angels on an assignment for you to go up into the heavenly realm and to bring down the blessings that God has for you from heaven because you are a citizen of heaven and God says in the kingdom of heaven there are many mansions there are everything in heaven everything we need in heaven the abundance of rain comes from heaven my God so we are going to go over these scriptures and then we are going to begin to pray Deuteronomy 818 but thou shall remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Philippians 4, 19, but, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Malachi 3.10, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room, room enough to receive it. And what God is saying in Malachi 3.10, that when you pay your tithes, when you sow your seeds, that is, it has to come back to you. He was, he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. I believe that this is good ground. So I pray that you will sow into this word. You will sow into this fast. Um, and, and as God said in Malachi 3 and 10, the windows of heaven will be open for you. And God is going to pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Amen. 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Psalms 128, verse 2. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shall there be, and it shall be well with thee. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Psalms 1, 3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do doeth shall prosper. Amen. You will prosper in the now. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor that ye through his 
poverty might be rich. So God is letting us know right there that he wants to make you rich, right? Proverbs 28, 25. He that is of a proud heart stared up strife, but he that put it his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. So you have to put your trust fully in God, fully in God, fully in God. My God, my God, my God, my God. He is going to do it for you. He is going to do it for you. Luke 638, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Psalms 1, 1 through 6. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doeth, doth he meditate day and night. And while you're fasting, you should be meditating day and night. Day and night. Day and night. You should be meditating. As we just read seven times, the rain came. Okay? Um, three. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And his leaf also shall not weather. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay? Deuteronomy's. 28, 1 through 14. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall thou be thy basket in thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Amen. You will be blessed coming in, and you will be blessed going out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall call against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. My God. See, there's the number seven again. So your enemies will flee seven ways. And God said he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swear, he swear to you, unto thy fathers to give to you. God made a promise. He swear to you, right? He swear to you that this is yours, and you just have to receive it by faith, that it is yours, right? Verse 12, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land and his season in your season to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. So you will be a lender and not a borrower in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We believe by faith that you will lend to many nations and you will not borrow. My God. 13 and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath and thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of thy Lord thy God which I command thee this day observe and to do them and thou shalt not go aside from any words which I command this day to do right to do right hand or to the left or to go after other gods and serve them. My God, my God, when you are in God, when you are seeking him diligently, when you are praying to him, this is what God has promised you. He has promised you as a citizen of heaven. He has promised you the abundance. He's promised you abundance and he's promised you prosperity. And you just have to receive it. Your arrival is already here. Your arrival is here for the fall of 2023. I hear blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Amos 19.13 says you will have so many blessings. It will come so fast that your head will spin. I'm just, we're just going to pray over this. I'm going to let you go. And for the next 30 minutes, I want you to go into your secret prayer closet. 
midnight is the best time to pray you guys midnight is the best time because that is when the dark realm is up but god is working too god never sleeps and so that's why you need to be up on your per your post canceling mountain monitoring spirits cancer and anything that's trying to hold your blessings from coming to pass on your knees seeking god crying out to him and thanking him for what he's already about to do because you shall be dancing right now this fourth day for the abundance, for the prosperity that God is going to give to you. <clears throat> Whatever you've been believing God for, God said more. He said, I'm going to give you double for the pain and suffering that you have gone through. I am going to give you double for the pain and suffering that you have gone through. I'm going to open every door, not just one door, every door for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we believe by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you for every so. I thank you, Father God, for the promise of the abundance that you have promised us. We thank you for Deuteronomy 111, where you said that you promised us a thousand fold, not just a hundred. God, you said a thousand fold, oh God. We claim and we receive Deuteronomy 111. We claim and we receive Proverbs 1022. We claim and we receive Deuteronomy 818. We claim and we receive um, Deuteronomy 28. We claim and we, re we receive, God, that no weapon farmed against it shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We take everything back from the hands of the enemy. The curse is reversed because on the first day of the fast, we tear down evil altars. So every evil altar is destroyed. Every evil altar of, of doubt that we believe that this thing shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus because your word says that it shall come to pass. And we believe by faith that it's already here and all we have to do is receive it. We believe by faith that miracles are going to happen. There is going to be testimonies and, and, and family. If When you start to get blessings, when you start to get, I want you to email. I put the email in the description box below. I want you to email your testimonials. What God has done for you, whether he has healed you, whether he has financially blessed you, whatever God has done for you, whether he, you got the ticket, you got the money, you got the ministry, you got the business, you got the job, whatever it is that God has granted you, I want you to begin to share your testimony and I will shout you out. I will shout you out. I will shout you out. But I am so excited for you, family. We are just going to pray in the spirit in our heavenly language, we're going to pray in our heavenly language, and we are going to ask God to ascend his angels into heaven and bring down, because we are citizens of heaven, to bring down from heaven what he has promised us, what is already there in heaven for us. We're going to pray now. Lord, Heavenly Father, I pray, God, that you will release every angel on an assignment for us, God, to go up into the heavenly realm and bring it down to us on earth in the natural, oh God. Everything that we are needing, oh God. We pray, God, for the abundance and the prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus, that we shall see the fruit with our natural eyes. We shall see the fruit with our natural eyes, and it shall be given unto our bosom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It shall be given pressed down, shaken together, and running over as you have promised us a thousandfold as you have promised us, God. We bless your name, Jesus. We rejoice in the now, God. We thank you, Jesus, that the abundance of rain is here. The abundance of rain is here. The abundance of rain is here. The of rain is here. Hey, it is here, and we rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. Everything that the devil stole is given back to us. The curse is reversed. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We rejoice. You, we exalt your name. We exalt you above all names. You are King of King and Lord of Lords. You are Alpha and Omega. You are in in the beginning. You are the first in the last, you have everlasting life. You said, who shall ever come to you shall never thirst again. 